remember learning how a bill became a law? I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. Well, issue one is trying to make our laws using a different kind of bill. 58 million of them. From George Soros, New York millionaires, foreign billionaires, and even blood money from partial birth abortionists. And all that money bought a lot of ads to deceive Ohio voters. It also protects the essential reproductive medical care, like the miscarriage care that saved my own life, and access to birth control. No, issue one was not about miscarriage care or birth control. It was about abortion until birth and bringing back partial birth abortion into our state. But issue one violates our state and federal constitutional right to life which, according to Article 1, Section 1 of our Ohio Constitution, is inalienable. That's what our legislators swore to uphold. As the Supreme Court stated in the Dobbs decision, it's time to heed the Constitution and return the issue of abortion to the people's elected representatives, not to the mob with the most money. Just as we wouldn't put slavery to a popular vote, no matter the mob and no matter the money, inalienable rights, and our children, are not for sale to the highest bidder. While the courts are able to issue rulings, our state constitution grants the authority of the court's jurisdiction, that is, what they're allowed to rule on, to the state legislature. So while the pro-aborts are right now picking their favorite judge to strike down our protective laws, Article 4, Section 18 makes it clear. The jurisdiction of the courts is directed by law. The Constitution specifically says reigning in out-of-control courts is the legislator's job. So let's call on the legislators to do their job, to use their constitutionally granted right to represent us, and to keep pro-abortion judges from repealing Ohio laws based on an amendment that doesn't even mention a single Ohio law. You see, the national strategy of the abortionists is to roll over the will of the people and our inalienable rights, just like they did in Michigan, Vermont, California, and they're planning to do all across the nation. But there is one state that is saying no. Foreign billionaires don't get to crush the will of the people and our inalienable rights. Representative Jen Gross and Bill Dean are standing against the abortion machine. Are you willing to stand with them? Ask your representative and senator. Are you willing to use your constitutionally granted tools to stop the abortion machine? Or are you just going to talk about it? Make your first call to Senate President Matt Huffman. Then call on those in the State House to stand for the Constitution and prevent the courts from stripping us of all our laws and our inalienable rights. Yeah.